We're replacing the floor pan and the trunk pan in this 56 Chevy. Last week we rolled the frame out from underneath it, braced at the body and set it on stands. This week we prepped the entire area and got the whole floor pan out, got it ready to receive the floor pan. If you're interested in seeing how this got done, stay tuned. Welcome back to Restoring Christine. We were working in a 1956 Chevy Bel Air. Restoring it right here in my home garage. I'll do it yourself with my own hands. So where we're at today is, uh, let's see, let's pick up from last week. Last week, we put the bracing in to, to get the car off the frame. We rolled the car out from underneath the frame. We built a couple of, uh, couple of supports, one at the front. We got a couple at the back holding up the car. You can see the wood framing back there. So now I've got the body all braced up. I've got a new floor pan ready to go in. I've got a new trunk pan ready to go in. So today what we're going to do is we're going to work on getting this prepped so we can put that floor in. So I've got to go all the way around the perimeter and clean everything up. I've got the two rocker panels uh, are still in. There's an inner and an outer rocker panel. So the outer rocker panels stay with the body of the car. The inner rocker panels come with the floor pan. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go all the way around, and there's spot welds all the way around the perimeter. I'm going to have to break those free, clean up the metal, and you just have to work several inches at a time. And you've got to walk your way all the way around uh, from the, uh, the, the two rocker panels. You've got to go also along the, the kick panel. So there's a seam right here. I'm going to go all the way around there and break those free. Um, that's where the rocker panel is. And then back along here underneath this trunk. Uh, rear seat bulkhead. I've got to get that broken free. And then we're going to do some rust repair. So I know the floor pan, the kick panel is, uh, um, the kickboard, tow board, whatever you want to call it, is over there is rusted. It's rusted over here. I'll have to do some spot repairs on that. Um, and then when we get into the trunk, same thing. Got to go around the perimeter, clean it up. I already started doing a little bit of this. Um, because it, it was already coming off. And this is what I'm talking about. So there's spot wells, and they're every couple of three inches or so. Well, it's like an inch and a half, two inches apart. All these spot wells. We have to go all the way around and break all those free and get this apart. Um, there's going to be some work at the sail panel back here. So that's what we got to do. We got to get that ready. So I don't have the floor pan here. I do have the trunk pan, but I don't have the floor pan here. I have the floor pan at my warehouse. Um, so... That's, that's where we're at right now, is we're going to go ahead and start cutting this away and getting this freed up, and it's going to be, this is tedious, and this is going to be boring. This is not the most interesting part of things, so I think once, once we get this cleaned up and once we get the floor pan ready to slide in, uh, that's when it's like, hey, look, success, you know, we got it done. But right now, this is where the boring work is. You're going to do all this prep work, and that's going to take some, some, uh, some time, a few hours, so stick with us. Pause right here to show you where I'm at so far. It's not much, not far along, but it's a few things worth pointing out. Uh, this is on the driver's side, and this is the first beam that's underneath the floor pan. So there's a little half. It goes halfway. It goes from from here to here, and it's just a little off the toe off the toe board. And you can see it. This was this was structurally sound for the most part. There's some flange work that would, might need to be done on both sides if I was if I were to keep this and it's still Pretty solid against the inner rocker panel, but check, you know, check all that out I mean, it's it's just bad. So let's go to the passenger side and I did the same thing now. This is the beam um, This is this is pretty bad. It had a lot of a lot of debris caught up in it You know the beam itself wasn't too bad But you saw I don't know if you saw it when it happened But as soon as I cut it free like right here all of this just fell off I mean, there wasn't anything here. You can see there's a pop rivet. 
So somebody in the past tried to tried to repair this. I do have a new a new rocker panel for this passenger side. Uh, I thought I might need it. I'm not quite sure. It looks like you know if I got it, I might as well change it. So I've already invested in it. But you can see now the bottom of the door jam comes down here, and here's where some I'm gonna do some spot repairs right here. And we'll get that. So let I me mean, keep on trucking. You know, actually, there's some more you can see in the tow board. So what I gotta do is over. I'm gonna work my way around and, and then split this. So this flange right here is double. I gotta get the the goop out of it. There's two, there's two of them that are that, that are um, welded together. Gotta get the goop out of it. Get this pulled apart. Um, so we'll continue with that too. But I'm gonna continue working my way around and pulling these beams out. Um, somebody asked on the floor pan, and you'll see when we get to it, the floor pan did not come with any of this parking parking brake um, attachments. All these have to be salvaged from your, your car, and there's probably a few more things. So I'm going to end up pointing those out as we go along. So let's keep on going. salvage this beam I don't know I might eBay it it looks like it's in good shape and I and I don't and when I say eBay it you know sell it not so much not so much to make a dollar but just to avoid throwing something in the trash you know what I mean somebody out there might um might need this beam might need a piece of this beam and I don't know I just would want to cover the shipping and just um save it you know if possible it's no good to me but it might be good to somebody else. And believe me, I get how that goes. You cut this free. Yeah. Nah, I think I got it. Uh, maybe one more on the other side? Yeah. Let's do that. Woo! Yeah, if I can't break that free. That is junk, junk, junk. But the beam, yeah, the beam's still good. Pick it up. Set it up where you can see it. That's the bottom of the beam flipped over. So you can see the inner rocker panel where it attaches. It's one of the body mounts. Um, must have been another body mount here. Another body mount here and here. That's one of the bolts that's broken off. Attached to this inner rocker panel, you can see where that's all jacked up, and an all par parking brake mechanism. So I'm going to salvage this. This is mine, and I'll see if I can't maybe I don't know get this out there as a used part. We'll see. So let's keep on taking the part. See my argument for replacing the whole floor. This is the beam on this side in this corner. And it, as you saw, as I cut it away, it just gave it up. Look at that. That's pretty bad. It was patched already. I, don't know, I can see that there's some bondo or something up here. So if somebody got up in here and there's a piece of sheet metal. It looks like this might be clean. I'm not sure. Can't tell, but there's a patch. It looks like a patch of some sort. I can't, I can't be too sure. This beam fell apart, so I cut it. <laughs> Is there any more? Holy cow! Man! <laughs> you never know what evil works within. Holy cow! So now I gotta try to do the other side. So I'll be working in that corner now. I'm trying to get that one. Let's see if we can get this one broken free, but it looks like it's mostly broken free from the inner rocker panel already. Right? Wow. 
I just put the camera on hyperlapse thinking I was going to be here for a few minutes. And I made one little cut. And I think it's only two seconds from the hyperlapse video and it just fell off. So let's see what we got. That's the inner rocker panel. It isn't even attached anymore. Oh, that's true. I replaced this. I replaced that fender. So that's why it's detached there. Well, that's okay. I guess I can't be mad about that. Oops. Ooh, yeah. There we go. Oh. You can do it. There's right, some more sand coming out. There we go. Watch this. Oh shoot. I'm wearing it. Yeah. All right, so now I think I'm going to turn my attention to this rear seat bulkhead area. So I know there's spot welds all along here. And I'll get this out of the way. But what I think I need to do is I need to grind, I need to scuff this surface and hunt for the spot welds. And I don't know how well they're going to show up. Hopefully you like to see little, little pinches. And if they show up, then I can... Grind them. I can, I can, I can drill them out. I can't, I can't. This has got to. I got to keep this. So sometimes what you do is you grind out. You you grind the surface, and then once you find a spot well, you turn the grinder sideways and just grind, just gouge it. But I don't, I don't want to do that because this piece is going to stay with the car. So I've got to be a little more surgical about this. I've got to hunt, hunt down these spot wells one at a time. Maybe drill them out. Uh, Well, either they're not a lot of spot welds, or they're just weak. I don't know. I'll, I'll drill out what I can find, and I'll pry in between those two, and we see if we can't get them separated. So I got it. I drilled it with an eighth inch pilot and then a three sixteenths and then a quarter inch. I was just trying to sneak up on it and make sure I was as close to the center as possible. And then now you can see it's it's breaking these welds free. So not this. And that that'll tell on it. So now I can see it didn't weld it anywhere over here where I scuffed. So most of it just welded over here. It's got a few over in that corner. But these, at least these four are broken free. So I'm gonna keep on doing that. It seems like it's coming along pretty pretty easily. Now I just did it, I'm doomed. I just cursed it. All right, so those drill pretty easily. Let's see if we can pop them up free. There it went, I heard it snap. Yeah. One of these two just gave it up, if not both of them. I don't know if they're broken free or not, I can't tell. That was not. So, I just have to pick away at it. All right, we've got them. So there's, uh, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten over here. One, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Maybe ten or eleven on this side. A couple of them missed. So look at maybe ten. Let's say ten spot welds, ten spot welds, and there's nothing in the middle. So I got them all drilled, and I think I got three quarters of them popped free. So the rest of them pop free after I start cutting this up and prying this out of the way. So that's what I'm going to do next. Well, 
I didn't look, <laughs> and when I was cutting it, I saw uh, it was like some doubler plate or something. I couldn't tell what it was when I was cutting it on this side, but if I'd have paid attention, I'd have seen that it was the pinion snubber. So there's a, there's a piece, there's a bracket on the back of this that um, stops the pinion, the rear end from bottoming out. And I missed it. It's on there and I cut, I cut halfway through it. So I gotta get this cut out. Tiny. There you go. See, pinion snubber. So I'm gonna weld this. I'm betting that this this is probably not on the rear on the uh, floor pan. I'm betting. We're gonna find out. Probably not. I can't imagine that it is. So I'll have to recover that, repair it, and then put it back on the uh, on the floor. So, but I've got it. Here we go. I got both sides broken free. Let's see if we can see how that's loose. Loose all the way. In fact, it had bad factory welds right here. Check this out. Look at that. All of these spot welds are broken. Uh, it's all broken free. Okay, so now that I've got the rear bulkhead broken free, I'm going to turn my attention. I'm going to come around to the front to the tow board and I'm going to clean this up. We got the tow, tow board cleaned up all the way across. Uh, just need to do a little bit of, a little bit of mild grinding and cleaning on that. But I mean, all the metal is removed. I did leave this, so this is actually the floor flange. The tow, the um, the tow board. This flange, if I cut that out, then I'm going to lose the shape. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to repair this, but I'm leaving, I'm leaving this to define my shape. And I'll make another patch panel that goes in right here and does that. It ought to be real simple. Same thing on that side. Uh, it's corroded back to here, so that's why I stopped right there. But um, now, next thing is to clean up the rocker panels. Tell you what, <laughs> somebody replaced both rocker panels on this car, and they didn't do a good job at all. First off, they didn't coat the interior. I mean, it's it's rusting from the inside out. The bottom flange, the outside edge is rusted. Passenger side is worse than the driver's side. I already got a passenger side. I'm going to get a driver's side. I, I'm going to replace them. Uh, I was cleaning this up, and um, it's it's just bad. I don't know if you saw, but whoever put them in. Look, believe me, I should not have been able to clean this up that fast. <laughs> that was literally like 10 minutes. 10 minutes I had all this cleaned up because it was like it had one weld here, one weld here, one weld here, one weld there. Unbelievable. They just had, I mean, like barely just tacked it in. Like, I, I don't know, man. When I put my floor in, I'm going to have spot welds throughout. I mean, it's going to be tight. So I'm going to replace this rocker panel. It means I'm going to have to order it. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the floor in first. And then I'll put the two rocker panels on after. Because I'm going to let the rocker panels hold the alignment for now. We'll put the floor in and then we'll change it. And 
this side was just as bad. <laughs> it's like nothing was attached. Just a couple of welds. I mean, this this edge of this rocker panel is like brand new, <laughs> except the bottom. So I guess they didn't weld the bottom because it was corroded on the floor, the, the, the inner rocker panel, and they didn't weld the top because I guess they were lazy. So, <laughs> I mean, just I don't know. This thing is eating alive though. It's it's uh, you can't you may not be able to see it because but there's light coming through here. There's light coming through here. There's light coming through back over over here. So where are we at now? Picking on it, picking on it, picking on it. So now I gotta come up the wheel well, both sides. I gotta get this this part out um, in between the two wheel wells. So I'm gonna keep going. that side done and I didn't buy the video in this but I got this side done it's the same thing you've seen it before um, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna cut out a piece of this I'm not gonna cut the whole thing I'm gonna cut just enough to clear to be, for me to be able to get half of this out and I'm gonna leave the other half for structural integrity so what I'm planning on doing now is once I get this half out then that'll prep me for having I'll be able to put this floor back in and when I can put this floor back in, that'll tighten everything up. Then I'll feel better about relieving that instead of having the trunk and the floor and having everything unsupported. So that's not a bad splice point. That's where my two lift points are. You see the lag bolts that go into my two, my two uh, stilts that are here and there. So that's what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go ahead and cut this out and then we can call this a day. I have made a thorough mess out of me and the garage and the car. It's just, uh, I got junk all over the place. I mean, this is, this is ridiculous. I'm going to have to take a day to just stop and clean this garage. This is, this is just getting ridiculous. So we got it done. We got it done. So let me show you <laughs> what we're dealing with or what we, what we come up with. What we ended up with. There it is. No more floor. That's cleaned up all the way along the kick panel, cleaned up along the rocker panel. It's also this rocker panel, the back edge, rear fender, rear fender. Just got a little bit of touch up work in the corner and in the corner. And then I need to repair some rust. So this is almost it. I have not touched the trunk. So I'm gonna leave this because I tell you what, when I started breaking that apart, in fact, you can even see the bulkhead um, is, it wasn't quite completely welded. I don't know. So I'm going to have to repair that. Not a big deal, but I mean, I, I really don't want to leave it to just where I've got no structure. So I'm going to leave that. So <laughs> we have reached the end of another video, another session, another weekend in a garage. This was, uh, this was a lot of work. Man, uh, I'm, I'm telling you, it's just, it's, it, you got you to gotta be willing. If you're going to do this yourself, you got to be willing to just get dirty. You got to be willing to get into it. You just got to and dive in it's it's just it, it can be a mess it can be a chore it can be tiring um you know but you got to be steady you just got to keep at it keep at it keep at it so where i'm at today is now i'm ready to start patching the edges to receive the floor pan i'll probably try to put the floor pan in next time um along with those patches i'll probably do it all at one shot i'll do the i'll do the patches and then once i get those then i'll slide the floor in and get that welded in but I want to um, I want to be sure to do it right. So it's probably a two-day project. It's probably one more day, uh, attaching all the the little pieces, parts that go underneath, and getting them cleaned up and getting them getting them prepped and painted. Because I don't want to paint underneath the car if if it's already going to be if I've got the if I've got the bottom of the car right now on the ground, paint it now. 
<laughs> so that's what we want to do. Uh, but anyway, do appreciate everybody that tunes in. Do appreciate you watching. I enjoy having you with me in the garage. I enjoy the comments. I appreciate all the thumbs up, all the well wishes. Please, please, please subscribe. I do, I, I do wish that this channel would just, you know, get out there and be seen and be helpful to others, other weekend warriors, other garage warriors like myself, jack legs that just think they can do it all and are going to try it all. That's me. <laughs> so we'll see you next time. Cheers.